Okay, so you've probably heard of chat GBT, GPT, um, but have you ever thought about how you could use it as a teacher and how you could make your life so much easier? So one simple thing you could do as a teacher is you could use it to write letters. It saves you so much time. So just simply go to chat GBT and sign up and then just go to new chat in the top corner here, new chat. Then you're just going to go in and write, write a letter to parents about a trip to Alton Towers. Oops, spell it correctly, helps Towers on the 10th July. Right, I haven't even given it much information. Right, and just moving my uh, space and off it goes. Right, and it's gonna write me this letter. Takes a few seconds, you can edit this all up. You'll see it writing as um, it goes. There we go, I hope this letter finds you. Well, I don't need to read this, look, everything there, and you just edit it once you've got that. It writes way better than I could ever write. Job done. And then all you can do is just copy and paste this into a Word document. If you don't like it, you can regenerate your responses and you'll find that this question, it saves it all for you. Beautiful, way better than I could do. And it took 10 seconds. Another great thing you could do is you could use this in your lessons. You could do, um, for example, uh, respond to all further questions as if you were rolled off. Oh. Rolled off? Okay. Um, right, here we go. Okay, so let's ask Roald Dahl a question. Why did you write the tweets? And you could use this in a lesson, spark interest, get students reading and engaging. Right, look. Here's a question, an answer written by in the voice of Roald Dahl. And you could do this with any person, any author, anything. Get students thinking, asking questions and responding to. It's just fantastic. And I think the only limit is your imagination. Enjoy. <laughs>